Let's take a look at how we can use the markup tools in the Photos app to annotate on top of your photos. So go ahead and tap on the Photos app. Go to your Albums and tap on Recents. Here's an example of something that you might want to use the markup tools to do to be able to capture a screenshot and use the markup tools to annotate on top of that photo to create helpful instructions for your students. You probably also want your students to use the markup tools to show you what they know in creative ways. So let's take a look at that photo that I took earlier. So here I have some different objects that I said I was gathering for a shape scavenger hunt. So I'm going to tap back on my photo, tap on edit up here in the top right. Now I'm going to tap on the three dots in the circle at the top right. Go ahead and tap on markup. This is going to bring up these tools along the side of my iPad. I can grab this little handle and move this set of tools around my screen wherever it's most convenient for me, depending on what I'm trying to write on and where I want to put that writing. Now I've got different pencils and pens and highlighters here and an eraser and in different colors of ink. So maybe I want to look at this picture and I want to find some geometric shapes in this and annotate on top of this photo to make it really clear what I'm seeing. So maybe I'm just going to pick this highlighter and a nice bright red and if I tap on my pens or pencil or highlighter a second time I can adjust how thick the line width is and for the highlighter I can also adjust the transparency and the opacity and I can do that with my other pens too. All right, so I'm going to leave it kind of there in the middle. For the highlighter, it's a little bit thicker than the pens. Now I'm going to tap on my picture, and I see a circle here in this ball. I see another circle over here in this ball. Now granted, these are spheres, but I'm drawing a circle on top of them. Here in this little toy that my dog gets treats out of, I see a circle here in the middle where the bottom and the top connect and another circle up here around the top edge where the treats fall out. Now I can change to a different pen and a different color, and again, I can make that line width heavier and the opacity or transparency different, depending on what I need. Then I'm going to tap back here on the screen, and maybe in this charger, I see a rectangle in here. And so I can outline that rectangle. And maybe I see another rectangle here at the top of the charger. All right, so you can have your students gathering photos of everyday objects in their home and then outlining or annotating on top of those shapes to creatively show you their understanding of these concepts. There are some other tools here in the markup tools as well. There's an undo and a redo tool so you can undo mistakes. Uh, on the plus, you can add text. So I can tap on text and I can tap in here and bring up my keyboard and maybe I wanna label this as a sphere since it's really more than just a circle. I'll move my keyboard out of the way and then I can drag that little label around while the label is selected, I could tap on these large and small letters and I can increase the size of that label to be something more appropriate. Oops, let me undo that line. Tap back on those letters and then scoot this label over to the side. Also on the plus menu here, there's a magnifier, which might be really handy if you're doing something where you want to look really closely at an object. You can adjust with this green circle, the zoom in inside of the circle, and with the blue circle, you can adjust the size of that magnifier loop. Also on the plus, you can add shapes. So maybe I want to add a rectangle here. And then while that shape is selected, I can tap over here on the shapes and I can choose if I want the shape filled or a thin border or medium border 
or a really heavy border. And I could also change that color of the border as well. So maybe I want to put this rectangle around that label like that. To save this, I'm going to tap on Done. Tap Done one more time. And now these annotations exist right here on top of my photo. And students could submit this through Seesaw, through Schoology. And they could get it to you so that you could see uh, what they understand. And you could create some examples for them too. So a way to use the markup tools in photos for students to be able to creatively show you what they know.